I work at UCLA and often receive information about studies conducted by our researchers. Recently, one came to my attention reminding us that humor is good for mental health, um, something that's pretty much in short supply when we're discussing the state financial issues. Um, this leads me to introducing this evening's organizer, Michael Feinstein. I wondered why Michael's participation was not noted on the web agenda for the meeting, and also wondered what his role would be once I introduced him. For those of us who know him, and I expect there are many of his friends in the audience, we can guess that Michael's role is evolving. I am happy to, in I am happy to introduce you. I asked him for a bio, and he said he was the mayor of Santa Monica. I knew that. <laughs> he, he is also a bundle of energy, an activist locally and globally. He is deeply involved in environmental movements, active with local organization, loves to make public policy. He writes, including a book. He is a commendator, he has vision, he is working with Repair California, and most importantly, he makes us laugh. Aww. Dream party, baby. Thank you, Nancy. And welcome to everybody. Tonight is a stepping stone to what is hopefully a historic transformation of our government in California to give us a form of government that we deserve and need in the 21st century. Many of us are familiar with the I Ching, the Book of Changes, and that famous statement that is often quoted that crisis equals both danger and opportunity. We're all very familiar with the crisis we have, and I think many of us are clear about the dangers that it presents. Tonight is a night about seizing that moment and making it an opportunity to transform who we are as a state. We have several excellent speakers tonight who are going to touch on a few topics. What are some of the structural problems that we're facing here in California? How might a constitutional convention come about to address those? What kind of reforms might be considered and what kind of reforms might come out of it? How would delegates be chosen? Who might they be? All those sort of ideas are before us. First, when you came in, you all were given a piece of paper that had a series of potential topics that a constitutional convention could consider, like this. What we want to ask you to do at some point while you're in here, when you're hearing people, to go ahead and you're free to circle any of those topics that you think are the ones that you would like to see the constitutional convention consider. You don't have to rank them, you don't have to pick one or two, you can pick as many as you want. It's a system called approval voting. On the back side, if you want to fill in in more detail why you think those categories are good ideas or if you have other categories. The reason this is critical is that there is ballot language being drafted that's going to be handed in, in September. And this is one of many community meetings around the state where there's a chance to get input to give in to the drafters. With that, I'm going to introduce our speakers. And for all of you speakers, I want to let you know that we didn't just get anybody to help us keep everybody on time. We have two very renowned activists and leaders from the League of Women Voters in California. First, former state president and current program director for K-12, Barbara Inatsugu. And then the former LA County president of the League of Women Voters and the current consultant to the League on Early Childhood, Preschool, and Juvenile Justice Issues, Joanne Levitt. 